This widescreen plasma was free. Watching movies is just more fun with a free big screen plasma. A bottle of wine, some candlelight, and a free big screen plasma. Now that's a date to remember. Would you like to be one of the lucky people who will receive a big screen plasma TV for free? Then log on and register now for the Get My Free Plasma program. When I heard about a free plasma TV, I was a bit skeptical. So I logged on to check it out. This is for real. All you have to do is sign up for some great services and buy some products. Products you get to choose. Our sponsors need your participation. And we are willing to reward you for it. You just complete all the program requirements, and we just send you a free 42-inch plasma TV. It's pretty simple. If I were you, I'd register today. Get my free plasma. The name says it all. Ma'am, may we come in? What is this? Is this the Barrymore residence? Yes, can I help you with something? Are you Mrs. John Barrymore? What is going on? Your husband was killed in a car accident a few hours ago. We identified him by the plates on the car. I'm so sorry. No. no there's some sort of mistake. I talked to my husband, he's at dinner. We know this may be hard to believe, but we are positive the deceased is your husband, John Barrymore. No. No, I, you, there's been a mistake, you made a mistake, I talked to him. I'm sorry, miss. We know this is hard for you. If you can just let us in. We can sit down. No. no, leave. You need to go. Please to meet you. But you like to uh, come in for a drink? You know what that's what sounds like? You know what? He's, he just came to drop off some paperwork that I left at the office. Um, it's, he's actually going to be carrying on. On second thought, I do need to get out of here. But it was a plum pleasing pleasure to meet you. Seems like a nice guy. <laughs> Handsome fella, too. Knock it off. Shantae, get over here. It's uh, nice to see you dressed for the occasion. I was on vacation, Nate. You don't need me here anyway. I know half the department is working on this thing. Old girl over there on the couch, uh, crying the blues. That's Isabel Barraz, the councilman's wife. You recognize her? Not really. She was in the park with her son when the incident went down. Macklin, get the DVD. Right, Cap? How did he even know there was an incident? Maybe he just ran away. 
We were contacted. Contacted? Here it is, Cap. Well, put it in the damn DVD player, man! Wait. Curry delivered that DVD about two hours ago. All right, everybody, gather around. We're going to watch a DVD again. So you've already seen this? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Honey? Kids? Is anyone here? He should have read about the big sale in the UT. The San Diego Union Tribune. It pays to subscribe. What's up, Pops? What's good, Junior? Are your mama holding up? Bad, but you know, we're gonna make it through the day. Well, you got to hold it down. I'm trying, Pop. I'm trying. Shit is hot out here in these streets. I think we need to lay low for a minute. What? Lay low? 43rd ain't got to lay low for nobody. Now, son, you got to hold it down. Because things gonna get way worse you let these niggas get away with that shit. And that's exactly what they want you to do. Stand down. Be scared to come out the house. Fuck that, Antoine. 43rd blood is thicker than anything. Now we know who did this. And we know they gonna pay. And when and where they gonna pay, that's your choice. Choice? Oh, so I got a choice now? I never had a choice. I never got to choose. I was 14 years old, Pop. I don't even know what dude did to deserve to die. All I know is that he went against 43rd. Every time you asked me to be, I was there because I had to be. I never went against you, Uncle Raymond, or Uncle Pee Wee. I love y'all because y'all my family and you raised me. But I didn't choose this shit. You better watch your tone, young blood. I'm still your daddy. And when I get out these walls, I'll still whoop your ass. You don't even get it. Thalen is dead, Pop. Shit is not okay with me. He didn't choose this. I didn't choose this. So is this how it's going to be, Pop? Huh? Am I going to have to bury my son, too? He was 16. Young blood. I was 13 when they killed my daddy. And I had to step up. I had no choice, but I made one anyway. Now, this ain't for everybody, but we was bred to live and die in these streets. You think it's a mistake? You think it's fucked up? Yeah. But is it what we got to do to survive? Damn right it is.